is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 29 for you guys and it is a very special episode of wwe action figure surgery because we have one of the best sets if not the best elite series featured here today all of the figures we're going to be doing surgery on are from wwe elite series 69 tomaso champa Rey mysterio bobby trashley bobby trashley ricochet all featured here in today's video. We're going to fix up all of these figures. You know, as great as the set was, you know, it's kind of weird because we're doing a full episode on WWE Elite Series 69 when I just said it was the best Elite Series ever. If it was the best Elite Series ever, would I need to do surgery? I don't know. I don't think it really matters, you know. Sometimes, you know, it, 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 the little part changes here and there can completely redo a figure and make it look ten times better, and that's what we're set out here today to do. And we got a long surgery road ahead of us, guys, because there's a a lot of stuff to do. You guys can see here we got a pile of stuff here, a ton of figures laying around. We got some things to do and I think that once it's all completed it's going to be epic. It's going to look really really good and one swap I'm really excited about because I had to think outside the box to do it and to think of it and I think I've done it and I'm very excited to do so. So let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to be doing here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 29. All right guys so I guess we can start off with Ricochet. So for Ricochet he's laid out here on the stretcher. What we can do for Ricochet and and one thing that I did notice about Ricochet, guys, every single Elite Ricochet, or at least both of mine, have this loose arm problem. And what I'm going to have to do is later on I may have to do the uh, Mod Podge method where I Mod Podge the bicep where the uh, where the little peg comes off the shoulder. I'm probably going to have to do that. But for Ricochet, um, you guys know that they made him too tall in height, I'm pretty sure. So what we're going to have to do is come in here and remove his lower legs, and we're going to replace them with these Sin Cara lower legs. You guys will see the mold. See how shorter the mold is compared to the leg there? Elite 44 Sin Cara lower legs is what you'll need for this swap, and we're going to switch those on there. Keep the same boots. You know, I really wanted to put kick pads on there, but I decided against it. And while we're at it, we're probably going to add... Um, I was thinking about adding these Seth Rollins uh, knee pads, but now I noticed that the golds don't match, so we're not going to do that. We're just going to go with regular open knee pads. I think the open knee pads will do well. So we're going to go with black open knee pads with the Sin Cara lower legs, with the Ricochet boots, and I think that that will make that figure look a whole lot better. So that is it for Ricochet. Next up, guys, we're going on to my man, Rey Mysterio, right here. What we're going to do is, you guys know that his hands are overly massive. I mean, just look at him. They just always make, they give him regular hands. They make his body and his head and everything smaller than regular people because Rey Mysterio is smaller, right? Uh. But they always give him these gigantic Kawhi Leonard style hands. So what we're going to do is remove these hands and we're going to be putting these... Oh my god, I dropped it. It's gone forever. I retrieved it. We're going to replace these with these smaller white gloves and we have small white wristbands. So we're going to put the white wristbands on there and the white gloves and that will make that figure look ten times better. I saw a couple people do it on Instagram. I had planned on already doing the fix up, but I know that uh, I know a couple people I think did my boy Steinsenberg Customs did it and it looked beautiful and it confirmed my thoughts on how to do the fix up so we're definitely going to be doing that it's going to look epic sauce so we're going to do that to Rey Mysterio next up guys we have Bobby Lashley and for Bobby Lashley guys we got two different Bobby Lashley swaps and I'm very excited to do these so first of all what we're going to do first with one of the Bobby Lashleys is just remove the boots and give him the smaller knee pads because I hate these gigantic knee pads they prepare they prevent articulation so bad and I don't care if they're more accurate to what he wears. I just like the smaller ones better. So for one Lashley, we're just going to switch the knee pads. But for the other Lashley, not only are we going to remove the massive knee pads, guys, but we're going to remove these ball joint legs and while we're doing that, we're going to separate the thigh from that upper thigh right there, that little, you see, you guys see where the thigh swivel is? We're going to remove this and then pop this leg part off from that thigh swivel and I have Elite 23 Three Triple H, and I'm going to pop the uh, the lower thigh into this upper thigh. And I've already acetoned the designs off of this upper thigh, and we're going to that should give him the the biker trunks look, and it's going to look beautiful. I think that will make this figure look ten times better. I'm really really excited to do that fix up. So I think that will give him that classic look, as well as switch out the knee pads. So we're not only going to do the knee pad swap, but we're also going to do that upper thigh swap, and that will give him a a if I later on the road I can make it look like a classic Lashley, but for the time I'm just going to leave the the logos on there, just kind of see what it looks like. But that's what we're going to do there, and then for. 
Ciampa, you guys know that uh, they gave him those small AF legs, so I'm going to have one version in the pants, one version out of the pants, and for the version out of the, actually for both of them, I'm going to switch the thighs, one of them with the Bobby Roode, we're going to put these Bobby Roode legs on one of them, and then I have these legs that I'm going to put on the other, which are also Bobby Roode legs, they're just separated from the figure already, so we're going to have two different versions of Ciampa, one in the pants, one outside the pants, they're both going to have the accurate legs, and that will wrap up surgery. Long day ahead of us, guys. Big old surgery video, but we're going to get it all done. So I guess what we can do first is start off with uh, Rey Mysterio, since his is very simple. Then we'll go to Trey. It doesn't matter about the order. Let's get started. All right, guys, so Rey Mysterio starting off first. All we have to do is remove these hands, and once we remove these hands, it should be really simple. Go ahead and get the gauntlets as well. We'll move these over to the side with the rest of my interchangeable hands. So we'll just remove these hands, and then all we have to do is heat up the holes of the uh, Rey Mysterio arms because uh, we don't have to heat up the hands, right? Because if we heat up the hands of the, the white gloves and everything, it will totally F up everything. They'll be all loosey-goosey. They won't go inside the hole. So what we have to do is go ahead and set up like that and then grab the trusty old white hair dryer and then we are going to heat this hoe up and it should be relatively simple for this first swap. All right, guys, we're going to take Rey Mysterio here. And first of all, we got to get the gauntlets on slash wrist, wristbands first. And then once we get that on, it will be pretty simple. It should be just to pop those hands in there and not give us any trouble whatsoever. There's the one wrist gauntlet popping it over to the other side. There's the other wrist gauntlet. Now taking the fisted hand and should push right in. I don't know why this isn't going in the hole. My God. It's like these... These freaking Rey Mysterio forearms are so tiny, man. What in the hell is up with that? We got it in a little bit. Okay, we got it there. Jesus Lord, I don't know why that was so difficult. All right, so we got the one, and I can just, I don't understand why this is so difficult. Like, I heated it up forever. All right, we got it in there. Okay, so Rey Mysterio is complete. We're going to add him to the pile and see what he looks like at the end. Wow, that gave me a lot more trouble than I thought. But nonetheless, Rey Mysterio is completed, and we are moving on to the next step. All right, guys, up next, we're going to be doing ricochet so ricochet is our next order of business we're going to go ahead and heat up both at the same time not only the sincara lower legs but the ricochet lower legs as well and maybe we can get it all in one take i'll honestly be shocked if we get it done but you know what we'll we'll see what happens when it goes down let's go ahead and heat this hoe up and see if we can get it done i freaking just oh my god i did do you want to upset me All right, guys, here we go, showtime. Let's see if we can get this thing done. Again, we're gonna have to remove these lower legs from Ricochet, and oh my God, it's trying to burn all my skin off. So we got that, and I'm not really worried about the boots at this moment. You know, we can always pop the boots off, add the knee pads, and add the other boots, like, uh, at the freaking blink of an eye. No, don't remove the peg. The, the peg being removed just probably messed everything up. Now I lost the peg. Okay, I got the peg back. Now we're going to stick this in the hole here and just see if we can get it like that. And now we go over to the Sin Cara lower leg and we're going to pop it on just like so. And I can already tell by the freaking just like way it's moving around that it's probably not going to equip here. Going to piss me right off. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Yeah, probably not gonna happen. Let's go over to the other side. Golly, I hate this trash. All right, right there, pop that on. It's just because it's on camera. If it, was, if it wasn't on camera, I could do it in like a millisecond. Yeah, I can't get it. Hate to see it. Oh, maybe I got that. Did I get that? Wow, would you look at that? I actually got the, I actually got the, I got the right leg, but I don't think I got the left leg. Yeah, so the left leg is all messed up, but the right leg was actually successful. Will the boots pop off? We got the one boot off. And the other boot off. All right, so both boots are off. Now all we have to do is get this other effing lower leg attached. The left leg. The right leg got attached, which I'm pretty shocked by, if you want me to be real with you. Did not expect that. All right, I think I got that. So now I think both legs are completely attached, which shocks me. Okay, we got them both. So now all we have to do is go ahead and add the... Well, let's go ahead and remove these boots real quick if we can. Got the right one. And I got to get the left one. Ugh. That was a good pop there. Okay, so now we take our left knee pad, add it to the, uh, I know it's not gonna have the established whatever, but that really doesn't bother me at this moment. It really does not. 
Um, I'm really not even a big fan of this attire. I really wish we had the yellow attire or whatever, or the, the silver slash white attire. Would have been really cool, but there's that. Now we pop over to the right leg. We add this right knee pad, and then we're going to add the boots. And it should be relatively simple to add the boots because uh, it's still got some heat to it and everything. All right, there we go. Got the knee pads added. Now we just got to add the boots back to the ricochet. And ricochet will be completed. He can go sit over there with Rey Mysterio until the end of the video. If I can get the freaking boots back on. Sweet Christ. <laughs> All right, we got the right boot, now the left boot. Oh God, that was hot. Okay, so now Ricochet is completely done. Now we can move on to, who should we do next? I guess we can do Bobby Trashley next. All right guys, so for Bobby Trashley, what we're going to be doing is again, removing the boots first. So I guess we can go ahead and heat up the boots or should we just heat up the middle legs like so? Well, no, we're only removing one piece of leg. We're only removing one of their legs, so maybe do it stacked on top of each other. We'll do it stacked on top of each other first, and then uh, we'll pop both their boots off, switch the knee pads, then go to the uh, upper thigh swap for the other trashly, because one trashly just needs one quick little thing, and the other one needs the other. So we'll just go ahead and knock this out first, and then we'll move on to the other. Alright guys, should be pretty simple, and I just realized I have two left, left knee pads on one of my things, so that sucks eggs. But there's one Trashly boot, the other Trashly boot, go ahead and slide these massive knee pads off. God, these are terrible for articulation purposes, they really hinder the figure, so there's that. And I have so many of these, I wish I could figure out like something to do with these, but I really cannot. I cannot think of anything um, that I could use them for. I've tried many times to think of something, so we're just going to slide this on right here. And this is a big problem with uh, the bigger guy's legs and stuff like that, is it's hard to get them on here. Going over to the right one. All right, so we got the smaller knee pads on there. Now I guess we can go ahead and just add the, add the boots back, because this Bobby Lashley will be done. We'll take a look at him when it is all said and done. Make sure we put the boots back on the right sides, because you do not want to put the boots on the wrong feet. Then you'll be walking around like a moron. So for the other trash, you gotta pop the other boots off and we'll do that and we'll go ahead and remove this because we don't need them at the moment. And we'll go ahead and remove that. And I guess while the other hair dryer is going off, I'll find the other knee pads because we're not gonna add the knee pads right now. Now that we've removed these boots, guys, we're going to heat up his upper thighs in this area. And while that's happening, we're gonna also heat up the Triple H upper legs so that we can uh, switch those out and everything. So maybe this will be good enough to just stick up like this. And hopefully we don't uh, mess anything up or blow them away. If it blows away, golly, that pisses me off. And I have no, everything around here is on wheels. So if I try to stop it, it just blows away too. Come on, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I really don't know how the how the crap I want to do this. Maybe, I guess, removing it like this first. We'll get it off the figure, and then we'll just go like this. Is this the left leg? Yes, I believe this is the left. No, it's the right leg. Okay, so maybe I can get this separated right here. This is so difficult. Like, it's better to do with water than a hair dryer, but you know what? We're going to attempt it anyway. Uh, moving it like that, and then you should use this little lip right here to pop it off. I don't think it's hot enough, though. Uh, without using like some sort of tool. I don't think I'll be able to get it. Maybe the other one will be. Good God, this one's not even spinning. Oh God, Jesus. Mm, yeah, that's really freaking difficult. Okay, so we'll try the regular thighs then first. All right, so we got the we got the Trashly thighs, or at least one of them. We got that one, now can we get the other one? Okay, so we got both of those. We just gotta reheat up the, the Triple H one. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. You take it off at the thigh swivel. Now I just gotta get the uh, the other ones, the Triple H ones. If I can get this off, then I can attach these to that and it'll be really, really simple. So I guess I have to reheat that up, but I won't show you guys that so you don't have to sit there and watch the hair dryer again. All right, we finally got the Triple H one off. Now moving over to the other side. Oh, God in heaven, that's hot. Golly, it's so close. I feel the best way to do it is act like you're opening a can of Diet Deucif. Jesus in heaven. Oh, my God, it's so close. 
<sighs> Finally got that. Whew. Okay. And I think that's the right leg right there. And we're going to just shove this into here. So not only do I just get it out, but I got to pop it back in, man. All right. So we got that one. Now moving over to the left. Oh my God. Did I just tell me I didn't just do that? Oh my God. Hopefully it pops out easier. All right. It did. So now we got to go back over here. Put it in the right leg this time. All right, got that leg. Now moving over to the other leg, the left leg, and this should pop right in here. Probably not though, because it's me. Okay, we got it on. Jesus Christ in heaven. So now we have to reheat up these thighs so that they'll pop back on the Bobby Trashley. And while we're doing that, we're also gonna heat up the boots together. That way we should be able to heat them both up all together, and then we should be able to assemble it all together as well. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to put the left knee pad over here. Should we? No, F that, Brad. Let's go ahead and attach it to the Bobby Trashley. That way we don't have to worry about it, you know, getting uh, cold or whatever and then not reattaching. So there we go for that leg. Moving over to this leg, doing the same thing. And it's on. Now we attach. Now we attach the knee pad. So there's the left. So we got to get this slid up. Again, these massive AF calves, man. Jesus. All right, got the one knee pad on. Guys, I freaking hate myself. I just realized that I put the freaking thighs on the wrong side. How did I do that? Yeah, I sure did. Look at that right there. God in heaven. You know what? I'll, I'll, sh I'll see you guys when we work on Champa. I'll see. You. Look at the head now. The head's morphed behind the neck. Oh my god in heaven, dude. What in the Sam Hill is going on? Uh, my god, my god, why can't anything go right? I will see you guys when we get to Champa. I'll fix up Trashley, and I will see you guys when we get to Champa. All right, guys, I got Bobby Trashley all taken care of. I got him all fixed up and ready to go. Cannot wait for you guys to see him. But anyways, let's move on to Champa, guys. We got to switch out these thighs as well as Bobby Roode's and those extra leftover thighs. It should be pretty easy. And I don't know if people have been switching the lower legs of Champa in there with the Bobby Roode thighs or if they've just kept the Bobby Roode, uh, the, you know, calves and everything. So I'm just going to leave the Bobby Roode calves and everything. Hopefully it will be all right. But we're going to switch this out and then we have to, uh, of course, switch off the knee pads and everything. And then we got to put the knee brace back on and we have to put the camo pants onto one of them so uh let's go ahead and hit it up oh my god in heaven like why does that happen this this hair dryer just has so much force behind it but jesus man like a full figure can't even lay there i mean jesus All right, guys, that should be good enough. This uh, Champa thigh should just pop right out. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Just like so. Boom, boom. Now I got to do the same thing to the other Champa. Removing that and removing that. And while I'm at it, you know what? Let's go ahead and nope. They're not even hot. So you can't even take off the boots, you stupid idiot jackass. All right, so what we're going to do next, guys, is we're going to go ahead and plop all this in front of it. Maybe we'll be able to get all these boots and everything off while getting the Bobby Roode thighs heated up. So we'll just have to see about that. But uh, let's go ahead and do so like this. Stick it just like that. Just kind of plop it down in front here. Sticking that in there and there. And I doubt it gets all heated up, but you know what? We're going to attempt it anyways and epically fail. Uh... All right, guys, should be good enough here. Let's go ahead, pop off the thighs of the Rude like that. And I doubt we can get this off. No, because again, Brad, you didn't, you didn't get the boots heated up. So maybe this will just pop in here. There's that. There's that. So there's Chumpa done there. Let's go ahead and get our other legs and pop them onto Chumpa here, just like so. So both of the Chumpa's thighs are attached. Now all we have to do is see if these boots will pop off of these Chumpa legs down here. And they should all be good enough. They should all be good enough. They should be good. All Okay, there we go. And uh, let's go ahead and slide these knee pads off to our best ability. So there's a right knee pad. If I can get it all, all right, so this is a right knee pad. Let's go ahead and slide this on here. Jesus Christ, man, I got so much work to do in so little time. Is it going to be possible? Is it going to be possible? We're about to find out. Uh, the other boots are still loosey-goosey enough, so there's that, there's that. Go ahead and pop the right off of this, but that's not going to do me any good on the other one, so we'll just sit this knee pad to the side. 
Uh, pulling this knee pad off, we'll sit it over here to the side. Uh, that's the right one, so then we gotta get the left, and we're gonna plop one knee pad back onto the left leg of the chomper that already has its boots off, and then the other one will be on chill mode until we get the other off of the Bobby Roode legs that are on the other chompa with the red knee pads and such like that. If that was confusing, well, I confused my own self as well, so do not feel bad. All right, so there's that, and we should be able to plop some boots on this guy. Uh, there's that, and here's a left boot. God in heaven. All right, so that chump is done except for the knee brace, but we'll, we'll show that off at the end. Um, now all we have to do is plop the, uh, we gotta get those Bobby Roode knee pads off of that other chompa. And once we do that, guys, we will be moving on to the end of the video where we show off everything that we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. All right, so there's all our chompa legs. We got the Bobby Roode and everything, so I guess, like, this isn't hot enough. I know it's not, or maybe one is. Oh, it's okay, so one boot is. I don't think the other boot... Yeah, the other boot's stiff AF. Jesus Christ. Like, working with Matt Riddle over here. It's not a, That's not a jank on Matt Riddle. I love Matt Riddle, and I think he's a fantastic worker. And if I was a wrestler, um, I would also work stiff. So that's not a take on... I love the stiff wrestling. That's why I love guys like Riddle, Daniel Bryan, and Roderick Strong. I freaking love that. His strong style, the stiffness, that's what you like. All right, so we got the one knee pad on. Now all we have to do is heat up this boot... And uh, I guess I'll just show you guys everything once we're done. Uh, this is going to be the end of this. And the next time you guys see this, it will be me wrapping up everything we did here today on WWE Action Figure Surgery. And mercifully, thank Jesus Christ in heaven, thank you, Lord. We are done with this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. My Lord, let's take a look at everything we've done here today. We did, I think this is the most figures we've ever done to completion. Like, I don't think, I think the most we've ever done is three or four switches. Have we ever done, like, six complete fix-ups like this? Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys can remember. But I guess we can start with Lashley, guys. Let's look at the two different Lashleys that we did here. So you guys can see we have the boxer shorts or the whatever you want to call these. We have the biker shorts Lashley, and then we have the regular Lashley, the Elite Series 69. Both look better with the smaller knee pads. I can agree with that most definitely. What do you guys think down below? Do you like the upper thigh swap, or do you guys like the original? I think this is the way he wears it now, but some my boy Wally actually pointed out to me that the reason that he doesn't have the biker shorts on with the regular release is because it's supposed to be based off of his Extreme Rules match, I think, with Roman Reigns is what he said, and this is what he wore to the ring on that specific night, and since they went with that specific attire, that is why he is not wearing the biker trunks. With all that being said, guys, I think I like my fix-up better. I just think it looks more like Lashley. I just think it fits better, and I may keep it like this, or I might, you know, get another uh, upper thighs to switch out and then paint over it in black or remove the logos and, you know, re remove the red outline here and uh, try to make me like a classic throwback Lashley to his first run in the Ruthless Aggression era. I don't know. We'll see about that, but let me know down in the comment section below which one you like better and do you like the smaller knee pads because I certainly do. The next fix-up that we did guys was on the elite 69 Rey Mysterio and my god does this not look 152 times better I love the way this looks the white gloves makes it pop off way more um, the black is only on his little facial hair and then the outsoles of his boots and I think the white ties in way better it just makes it pop off way nicer and this figure is so much better guys than you think like the colors and the light green and the and the other green like there's a light green inside of this uh, darker green and I know they both look the same color but there's a lighter green going down the panel and you guys know this if you have the figure and it looks super awesome like my god this figure is freaking fantastic one of my favorites this year and Rey Mysterio's figures his newer ones especially have been so nice to pose around and play around with they're very very nice they can move around really easily and I love them to death so this Rey Mysterio definitely turned out um, exactly how I thought and it is sick nasty farticles next up guys we do have Ricochet and for Ricochet I really don't know how to feel about it I feel like the knee pads like throw it off somehow maybe if I switched out those knee pads with regular knee pads it would look better. Um, I may try that later on, but it doesn't look too, too bad. I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below. Does it look okay? It definitely fixed his height. He's not as tall as he was, and it looks great now. Um, I don't know. Something looks off about the knees, or maybe it's just in my head. Maybe it looks worse in person than it does on video, because on video, when I'm looking through the camera, it doesn't look as bad as it does in person. It's like it kind of looks thick in person or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I am happy with it overall. It did fix his height, and um, the only thing that I think would make it better is if we could switch taller boots for shorter lower legs, you know, 
of like the ones he wears in real life, the Lex Luger style boots. Um, but I haven't figured out a way to do that just yet without making him too tall. And um, I may do a kick pad ricochet in the future. I also have another ricochet. I have two different ricochets. So maybe I can do a cool fix up with that one. Maybe make one kick pads, one without kick pads. But ricochet turned out pretty nice. And then here is our two different choppers. You guys will see the bigger thighs look so much better. I mean, my God, they look so much better. I really do love the Bobby, uh, the Bobby Roode legs on there. And it makes the figure 100 million times better. I'm definitely enjoying this. And all I have to do now is get a custom t-shirt to throw on this Ciampa and this Ciampa will be completed and uh, this one will be my wrestling Ciampa if he ever comes to the pick fed or I ever want to pose him around and then we have the street gear Ciampa for whatever reason so that is everything we did here on WWE action figure surgery episode number 29 guys I know it was a super long episode and I thank you so much for bearing with me if you stayed all the way to the very end guys you are a true champion and I want you to comment MDT champion that's what I want you to comment if you stayed all the way from beginning to end thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.